for Mindy's Morning Scramble on Kids Place Live. Good morning. Welcome back. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. We were just telling a story of one grocery store owner's idea of getting people to cut down on using plastic bags in his grocery store. First, he started charging five cents a bag. That did not deter people from buying extra grocery bags and not bringing their own. So he decided to have really embarrassing fake business logos printed on the bag so that when the customers walked out of his store, it would look like they had just been shopping at, say, a wart ointment emporium, things like that. So the problem is now everyone thinks these bags are so funny, they're flocking to the store and they are buying the bags five cents a piece just to have one. So instead of uh, putting these on plastic bags right now, the shop owner is planning on maybe having them printed on reusable canvas bags instead. But it got me thinking, number one, don't forget your bags if you go to a store because we don't want need more plastic bags winding up in our oceans or landfills. And number two, if you were to invent a funny business that sold one thing that might be a little embarrassing for people to walk around with your logo on their bag, what would it be? Let's go to the phones and see who we've got here. We're going to go first to Kentucky where Arden is standing by. Good morning, Arden. Morning, Mandy. All right, what'd you come up with? Scary Harry's hair supplies because my hair is really frizzy and I have to use the tangler and frizzies. Scary <laughs> Scary Harry's hair supply? Yeah. This is good. What do you would you um, be embarrassed to shop there, Tori, Anna? No, I would be excited to I shop there. I would want to be a member of whatever club they got. I, I kind of say I would too. Oh, I would too. <laughs> member? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to embrace. You got to embrace the hair you've got. No matter what hair you've got, you got to yeah. embrace it. Uh, I love this idea though. Scary Harry's hair supply. And then would they have a slogan? Yeah. What, what's the slogan? Put stuff on your hair to make it not get frizzy. I love it. Scary Harry's hair supply. I'm writing this down. This is genius, and I hope that you open up this business someday. I will be your first customer. Okay. All right. And then Tori and Anna, they'll be waiting in line, too. Oh, yeah. Number All right. three. I'll be number three. Bye. Okay. Bye, Arden. Have a great day. Let's go to Maryland, where Gabby is standing by. Gabby, did you come up with a funny uh, fictional business name? Yeah. What did you come up with? Um, Dr. Nefarious Nose Hair Removal. Dr. Nefarious Nose Hair Removal. <laughs> you guys are good. Dr. Nefarious Nose Hair Removal. And um, so you would go to this, this store and you would buy their nose hair removal kit. Yeah. I think you're supposed to have some nose hair. Are you talking about people? You know what's so crazy is that when you get to a certain age... And I, I don't know whether it happens to women, too, but I know that it happens to men because I, my, I remember my grandpa uh, trimming his nose hair. Ear oh, hair, you too. Do ear hair, nose hair. It just grows, and you got to trim it up. Mm. Have you guys ever seen your dads trim their nose hair, grandpas? Oh, yeah. Yeah? No. I it, love them anyway. Yeah. It, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens. But it's just one of those things that people aren't like, oh, what are you doing today? Well, I'm going to trim my nose hair, and then I'm probably going to give my ears a little shave. Like, people don't talk like that. It's one of those things you just keep private. But uh, going to Dr. Nefarious's nose hair removal. Maybe Dr. Nefarious store. also does waxing. Maybe he'll oh, wax the ouch. hair out of your nose. Yikes. Ouch. Or off your ears. Work. All right. Gabby, do you have a problem with nose hair? Is that a thing for you? Yeah. No. If yeah. if you had nose hair that was growing out of your nose, would you embrace it or trim it? Trim it. Trim it? Okay. There's no wrong answer. Gabby, thanks so much for calling, and I cannot wait to shop at your shop, your store. We'll have another serving of Mindy's Morning Scramble soon on Kids Place Live.